Over the years, our analytical needs have grown to the point where um, we had a lot of departmentalized data mart uh, environments. And over time, that infrastructure has grown to a very complex and a very expensive infrastructure. And we started to realize the physical implementation of data marks was way too expensive, way too complicated for the organization to, to deal with it. And it was limiting our ability to perform analytics at a, at a, at a speed, uh, at a time to market that was uh, imperative to us. And we came up with the concept of analytics as a service. And we basically started to look at our infrastructure as something that we wanted to treat as a utility to all the business units and companies that are part of eBay. And we wanted to provide a service where everybody in the company could bring their own data to our infrastructure, perform their own analysis, combine it with any other data that we already have there, and allow some rapid prototyping in a, in, a, in a way that was simply not possible before. We got there through our infrastructure that we have with Teradata. We basically took the concept of traditional data marts and we created virtualized, virtualized versions of those. Uh, so no longer did we deploy physical instances of these data marts, but created a, a virtual version that could be created on a moment's notice, that can be shrink, grown, a uh, shrunk, grown, uh, uh, to any size required to perform the anal uh, analysis, and we coupled it with some self-service to make it easy to, to access for uh, the community out there. First of all, it has to deal with scale. You have to be able to scale to virtually any size of system. And scale is a multi-dimensional problem. It's not only size. Yes, our systems are multi-petabytes in size, but scale also comes in terms of how many concurrent users can you support? How many queries can you execute at any given point in time? Our infrastructures process millions and millions of ad hoc queries every day. And so uh, there are probably seven to eight dimensions of scalability that are very important if you want to take that to the masses. The second thing, uh, and, and that's an even bigger differentiator, I think, for the Teradata platform is the ability to workload manage because it's one thing to have a small data mart or a limited exposure system with a couple dozen, a couple hundred users that access that. It's something very different if you have thousands or tens of thousands of users, if you have millions of queries, if you provide the service that I just mentioned, analytics as a service, where we basically allow business units to do ad hoc prototyping, load their own data, come up with their own structures, perform their own analysis, at the very same time, we have very SLA-dependent workloads like call center agent applications that need their data in a guaranteed time returned. In Teradata, we are very successful in isolating uh, sandboxing uh, workloads from guaranteed SLAs, from batch workload, from user access 24 by 7, and manage that truly to basically resource partitions to this business unit gets 7% of our resources today, and we can guarantee that. Now, with Teradata 13 and with the uh, virtualization of storage, this gets brought together. And I think that's going to be ultimately a, uh, another key differentiator for the platform uh, in the market. The ability to combine extreme high-speed flash-based drives with extreme deep terabyte, multi-terabyte drives so that we can keep a very deep history of data, but we can still workload manage this to say, okay, we have high throughput uh, guaranteed SLA workload that needs to be processed on a 24 by seven basis, but we also wanna go back less frequently, but we wanna go back to very deep data and access that too on a single platform. And so workload management becomes a very imperative thing. And I think it plays to probably the key differentiated differentiators of Teradata.